Yo, what's up guys? Blue here, coming at you with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about swing tempo and getting the perfect tempo. Um, it's a bit of a follow-up video to my swing plane video, so if you haven't watched that yet and you're having issues with your swing plane, I would suggest that you go to the swing plane video, take a look at that, and, and then come back to this video in order to uh, move on with, the, with, with actually getting a, a proper tempo. Uh, the point of this video is to encourage people to play towards the perfect tempo. I know there's a red fast meta and 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 people people can just line up. Well, there you go. I hit a perfect. I can't even do it. I'm so timed. But people can just line up and hit hit that red fast hook uh, into a green and and that's the way they want to do it. And that's fine. And that's its own method. Uh, and again, it's it's just as hard to learn to red fast. Uh, and it takes away a lot of the a lot of the liability of the perfect, which is which is okay. Um, but it also has many disadvantages to it. Um, sticking the ball is a lot harder, so you got to learn your runs, your run ups, and stuff like that. And um, and obviously, there's a bigger margin of error because there's more, um, there's different different amounts of curvature and different amounts of carry. If you hit slightly red fast, more red fast, very red fast. Um, so there's there's a greater amount of error than when you're trying to hit with perfect. Um, so I encourage everybody to hit towards the perfect. I think it's a fantastic way to play the video game. Um, and it's so, so, so rewarding when you get that sound right off the club um, that, that uh, indicates you've hit the perfect. Um, so, again, um, do the template, uh, the swing plane video. Um, once you've done the swing plane video, uh, the first thing to consider is if you've calibrated before or not. So if you're a red fast player and you've already calibrated once, um, for the fast or for the slow in order to achieve the swing that you want to achieve before. My suggestion to you would be to come in here, go to the profile menu, go to swing calibration, and recalibrate your swing. Do all 10 swings as if you were trying to do a perfect swing. Um, and that will kind of reset the calibration and bring it back towards middle. Um, there's there's schools of thoughts which, which are like there's only three boxes you calibrate into, which is slow, uh, perfect, or towards perfect, or um, and then fast. Um, I think there's a little bit of wiggle room, and there's sections within each section. So you you get your very fasters, your fasters, because I've done a whole bunch of different types of calibration, and they all feel just a little bit different to me. So I think I think the game does do something within each each box that you that you fall under. Um, so recalibrate, go towards the middle, do perfect swings, do ten perfect swings, um, and then apply uh, these these tips that I'm going to give you. Now, obviously, it's it's not as easy as the swing plane video where I tell you, you know, change your whole grip and then boom, and then wow, you have a you have a swing plane. There's a lot of more abstract knowledge when it comes to the actual tempo um, that I that I think I can give to you that helped me achieve the timing with my thumb. Um, and the first one's going to be stop hitting 101% red powers. So the 101% red power meter. Um, is is a deterrent towards, or or 102 or 103, whatever it is. Stop over swinging your clubs, because when you over swing your clubs, um, my timing is 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 obviously very good. I've been doing this for a long time, but when you over swing your clubs, you'll notice that the meter shrinks, and I'll show you that right now. Um, the meter when you go up, the longer you hold, the more it shrinks. So when you hit that that vibration. You'll notice that the, the region for perfect, the region for gray, fast, gray, slow, and the region for your swing plane all shrink. Just like that. And so, you want to avoid shrinking any possibility um, of getting that tempo. If you hit the slight, slight to the left of perfect, slight to the right, and you, you want that white box to be as wide as we possibly can. Um, that being said, your club set is very, very important. If you don't have a good club set in order to hit the perfects, um, I have a video that I put out for a perfect club set that you can use when you're starting out. I used it for the first month of of hitting perfects. I've moved on to, to the different club set. Actually, the club set I recommend for fasting is the club set I use and I hit perfects. But I've developed my tempo for like a month, month and a half now of just hitting perfects um, to where I'm actually, I can still hit these clubs uh, perfect, and it gives me a little bit more distance and a little bit of better play um, playability out on out on the course. But I use the other ones forever. I uh, I, I promoted myself up to kinetic using uh, the basic uh, perfect club set that I that I put out. So I would recommend going to that video and uh, changing up your clubs and making sure that you got the right clubs in order to be able to do this. 
Um, if you have clubs that have basically no forgiveness, this is going to be a very frustrating experience for you. Uh, and uh, and you'll probably just give up and go back to playing the fast or not having a good tempo or, or, or what have you. So again, the goal is to no longer hit the red, um, the red power. And you want to hit 97% to 100% power. And you want the meter to either be white or you want the meter to either be gray. How do we achieve that? And here's the trick I can give you for that. Um, so there you see it. I hit the 100% power and I had the white meter. And um, I, 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 did, I did fast it a little bit. So how do we achieve that? So what you want to do is, is you, you do not want to leave a pause time in your swing, in the actual player swing. You're going to pause for a little bit with your thumb. But the player, you don't want to leave him pause there. You don't want to leave this pause. You want the player to come up and go back down. And you get your 100% perfect white meters on both. So again, what you want to do is you want, you want to let the club come all the way up. So what you do, what I would suggest is you just take back, back swings. And you'll start to notice that the club comes to rest once that shoulder, once the shoulder of the player tucks underneath his nose. So there's your visual cue. And then what you want to do is you want to start swinging once the shoulder gets to that point. For those of you that use vibration, you're swinging right at the beginning of the vibration. Just before the vibration actually happens, that's when you're swinging. So I use, I use that cue and I usually get 98 to 100% power. Um, and my meter is usually gray or white, meaning I'm no longer overswinging. And you can already see, um, I have that pretty well down now. Every once in a while, I'll get I'll get uh, I'll get a, a 101 or whatever. But I'm I'm basically hitting 98 to 100 percent, and I'm hitting perfects with every single one of my shots. And I can do that with 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 many clubs. <clears throat> so I just slowed it there. I was a little early, so that's what happens when you're early. Is you're 93 percent, you get red. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. There you go. There's 100 percent. So just as it gets to the top, you want to then follow through. The second tip I have for you is once you've practiced that. You basically, your follow through, you want to go forward on the stick at the same rate you would pull it backwards. So if I pull my stick back like this, if this is my thumb motion, this is my thumb motion, right? And it's hard to convey through the screen, but I'm pulling it back and I'm going forward at the same rate. So I'm pulling it back and I'm going forward at the same rate. I'm not, I'm not over swinging. If I was to be fast, see that it's a very much more... Uh, staggered and and pronounced pronounced motion but I go back and I go forward at the same rate that was a little slow you can tell it was a little bit laggy through the through the follow through back and forward at the same rate and uh, that's how you're going to achieve your your perfect so once you have that that 100 down you go back and forward at the same rate practice it in the practice menu but also hit the ball because uh, the the warm-up swings aren't 100% accurate in my opinion. So when you come to hitting when it comes to hitting the ball I've been basically doing the same motion. I'm just off of center there. But again, 100% power white meter just off of perfect with a fast that's going to be a great shot every single time. If you put spin on the ball, if you put loft on the ball and you hit the perfect, you're going to get a much better uh, reaction to your ball um, than you would with a with a red fast. You'll be able to stick pins. You'll be able to dart, dart the club, um, and do all of that. So there you have it. The 100% is the key for me. Um, never, never, never going into the 101. Keeping, keeping the overswings down, and your motion going back and forward should be at the same speed. And you'll, you'll. I think you'll just, you'll find way more success. You will have these like, like I just did. Slight slow, slight fast. That's okay. Um, you know, no golfer in, in real life hits the hits the perfect shot every single time. But if you can hit these shots, just slight slow, just slight fast, uh, or or perfect, ninety eight percent of the time, you are going to be a much better um, golfer in this video game. So again, my my swing plane nice and straight, my power under a hundred percent, under a hundred and one percent, and my and my tempo almost on perfect, just just slight fast right now. But I'm I'm very okay with that. Anything in the gray or in the white is is that's no good.
that I, I was trying to compensate for the fast. I slowed it down a little bit. Re trying to find my perfect. That's okay. There it is. And you get that nice sound, that crisp, that crisp smack of the club. And now once you've done this, and that's literally it, guys. That's literally what I can tell you in order to get a good tempo. Those are the those are the mechanics that I want you to practice. Pull back and and forth, pull back and push forward at the same speed. Aim to hit the hundred percent um, uh, power, the white meter, and and um, and then once you've done that and you've done this for let's say I would say do it for a good week, depending on how much you play. If you play five, six, seven hours a day, then do it after a few days. But once you have it down to where it's pretty much feeling like you should be there almost every time. Come back to the training facility, or if you've been doing it in the training facility, great. Come back to the training facility, and now redo your calibration again with that perfect swing. And that will just crispen the result and really start showing some, some, amazing, um, some amazing perfects. And, and, and a lot more perfects are just fast uh, in, in, in your swings. And I think you're just, you guys are going to have so much more fun with the game. You're going to improve your golf game tenfold. You're going to start shooting lower scores. Um, for those of you that compete in the TGC Tours, if you're trying to go up from CC to uh, low CCs to high CCs, high CCs to kinetics and the pros, um, you know, this is step one in order to achieve it. And you can see that I can do this fairly regularly. Um, and, and obviously there's harder clubs. You know, you can go up to a 4-iron. Four 4-iron four is very hard to hit perfect with. So like that, like I'm just slow. But the tempo doesn't change. They're just harder to hit perfect because the zone shrinks. The tempo is, is absolutely the same. So I'm just fast. But if you could do that with your 4-iron, that's, that's fantastic to me. Um, I get great results on my shots. And again, I'm not using the, more, the most forgiving 4-iron. So I'm getting good distance out of my shot. Great result out of my shot. And I do the same thing when I'm driving the ball, guys. Um, if I'm aiming forward, there's my perfect drive. So I do it throughout my clubs. I do a perfect shot for everything. I try and perfect my pitches as well. Um, I'm not a fan of the of the splash, so I I, I partial pitch everything. Um, but the pitch the pitch is 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 the same. You go back. I was slightly slow there, but you go back at the same rate as you go forward. Hold it. You don't want to hit. See, I'm hitting the 101 right now, so try not to hit that 101. It's the same, same, same thing. There it is. Just slightly, slightly fast, but you want to, you want to hit the 101 perfect power um, white meter. Slowed it there. Yeah, I felt it. But I'm hitting that 100% power, and that's the important part. Oh man, I'm really slow on my chip on my pitch right now. My thumb is jamming. The only thing you have to be ready with the pitch is obviously the uh, the downswing comes back faster. Uh, you don't have as much time to uh, much time to wait. That's how I do it. Just like that. Even just a little bit of a fast isn't isn't a problem. Um, there it is. I found it. Just to be ready to to push forward faster. That's the only difference with the pitch. But the, the tempo doesn't change. The tempo does not change. And even if you wanted to do like a partial pitch, it's the same. It's the same thing, um, but you, you want to the partial pitch. You want to find your your zone. I'll put a video out on this because I know a lot of people are curious. I I I exclusively partial pitch, um, so I'll do I'll do a separate video on the partial pitch. But that's what I'm aiming for. Is that like that eighty seven percent and then the perfect perfect tempo. So there you have it guys, that's the video uh, for this time, it was a little bit longer than my other ones, it's harder to explain tempo and perfect tempo, um, but I hope this helps, um, and, then, um, and, then, and then we can move on to other things, so I, I will be releasing more videos um, talking about you know, the, the, the partial pitch, talking about approach shotting, talking about um, course management, um, and all things aspects golf. Uh, related I will also be I believe uh, releasing videos uh, for designing so a lot of things that I've self-taught myself in the designer um, methods I think work for creating mountains and stuff like that so for those interested in designing I'll be doing the same thing um, as well for now blue out
Peace, guys.